so the beam of light in incident normally on a quartz plate whose optic axis is perpendicular to the beam uh, lambda zero that's lambda in vac vacuum yeah when n equals one uh, is this much compute the wavelengths of both the ordinary and the extraordinary waves okay <clears throat> so uh, seems to be a straightforward answer uh, there is a table in the book which is table 8.1 which lists the refractive indices of the uh, uniaxial bi refringent crystal um, for the wavelength 589.3 in vacuum uh, and we know that the index of refraction in general <coughs> is equal lambda zero over a lambda and uh, so if we're talking about um, uh, the wavelength uh, of the ordinary wave this will be an O and this will be lambda O so uh, then we can get the wavelength the ordinary wave be to be lambda 0 over n0 and so this is 589.3 nanometers and multiply it by 10 to the minus 9 to change it to meters divided by n o so uh, for the material that we have n o is 1.5443 and uh, we get our lambda 0 or uh, sorry this is lambda uh, or, or, or let's call it or ordinary or to be uh, uh, th three point eight two times ten to the minus seven, which would meters, which would make it uh, if I want to change it to nanometers, about three. Eight one point six nanometers, um, and we could do the same thing for the extraordinary wave. So that's lambda extraordinary will equal to lambda zero over n extraordinary for calcite, and in that table it's uh, one point. Sorry for quartz. Uh, one point five five three three. One point five five three three from table eight one, and this is five nine eight point three. Ten to the minus nine. So we get this to be uh, three seven nine point four nanometers okay and now that we have the uh, wavelengths uh, finding the pre frequency is uh, a matter of plugging in very straightforward so we know that uh, the speed of the wave uh, so let's take the ordinary wave first so uh, the speed of the ordinary wave will equal the frequency times the wavelength of the ordinary wave and uh, so uh, so let's call this OR and uh, we know that there's a proportion so we know that VOR will also equal to C divided by NOR in the speed of light and the uh, uh, because VOR over C, uh, or C over VOR is NOR so we could flip this around um, and uh, so this becomes uh, C so uh, C over uh, and so now the frequency 
will just equal c over n o r divided by lambda o r plugging it up there so we will get 3 times 10 to the 8 over um, n o r that's 1.5443 divided by uh, lambda which we got is 3.82 times 10 to the minus 7 and when we do that we find the frequency to be uh, 50 90 times 10 to the 11 Hertz per second meaning so this is for the ordinary wave and then for the extraordinary wave similar analysis I'll do the same exact thing so I will get uh, frequency to equal uh, C over N lambda for the extraordinary extraordinary so plugging the numbers in we will get 3 times 10 to the 8 over 1.5534 5, Three four times uh, three. What was it? The wavelength three seven nine point four. Change it to meters. So ten to the minus nine, and plug it in. On the calculator, we will get the frequency to be five thousand ninety times ten to the eleven hertz. This concludes this problem.